Uh, so what do you need for analysis capabilities to characterize and test uh, audio? Um, if you look at a typical SOC, uh, Charles, I think I might have drawn this from one of your drawings, uh, synopsis. Uh, they're going to be typically dual mode. They're going to have Wi-Fi. They're going to have tons of GPIOs. We have logic capture for that, right? Uh, there's going to be digital audio. We'll support that. Uh, that digital audio, by the way, comes in the form of a wired connection, just like what you see hanging here, along with the logic, UART, SPY, all that other stuff is captured there. Uh, I2C, USB, right? A lot happening on one SOC. It's not just Bluetooth. That's why a Bluetooth analyzer properly made should support about 12 things other than Bluetooth. Wi-Fi 15.4, UART, generic UART, uh, HCI versions for UART, SPY, generic SPY, I2C, SWD, Logic. I'm forgetting a couple, right? You get the idea. Um, so speaking of big picture stuff, here's a, a capture that... Uh, it shows a lot of that. So here we're looking at uh, the overview. And it's a really small window. It's not normally this tiny, but uh, I believe we have BREDR on the left. There's the HCI in the center. This is kind of important, actually. When you have a problem with Bluetooth, it's really nice to know, is it is something that's uh, being caused by the environment, or is it up the stack? So getting visibility on both sides of the controller, the HCI side and the over-the-air side, is really nice, uh, really can tell you a lot really quickly. That's exactly what we're doing there. Uh, you can see the timings in the middle there. We'll have timings on every packet, uh, over the air, uh, HCI. All of the wired stuff we're capturing, I square C, whatever it is, UART, HCI this, HCI that. And below I can see the these two streams there. That's I can listen to that, okay? I can hear the audio, right, uh, by playing those while we're recording. I can also see the error rates, et cetera, et cetera.